Hey guys, today I wanted to do an updated makeup collection, and this will not be ASMR. So before I show you my new makeup collection, I wanted to show you my new headphones. So, I got them at the store, um, there's like a store at Loyola, and these are like, a, what I consider to be like almost a Tiffany blue, and I heard the song Breakfast at Tiffany's and I was buying these and I was like, oh my god, I've been obsessed with Tiffany blue. So I am going to buy them. And um, that's what I did. I, just, I didn't just buy them because they're Tiffany Blue. I needed new headphones. Because <laughs> so, you guys know, um, I listen to music all the time. And I'm listening to, AS listening to ASMR and everything. So I'm using my headphones all the time. So here is my makeup collection. So you guys have seen... Oops, sorry. You guys have seen this black palette. Um, here's all the ingredients in the back. And you have seen all, most of these items you have seen, including the Carly Bible palette. Um, and those are going to go right there. Oh, sorry. These are going to go right here. Um, Carly Bible, this black palette. And then I'm going to put my makeup wipe right here. And what I did was I organized my um, makeup. So when I first came to Loyola, I had my pencils in this little black case. But when I lived in Denver, I had my mascaras. And so now I'm going back to what I'm used to, having my mascaras in my pencil case. And as you guys know, I color a lot. So my coloring book is there. And then I put all my pencils in what was my makeup bag. And there's an eraser. So here's all my pencils and coloring books. And then my um, pencil case is my mascara. So in the morning when I wake up, I'm like, which mascara do you want to use? Does it need to be, you know, expressed like volume? Does it need to be this Maybelline mascara? Or does it need to be waterproof? That would be this blue one. Or do I want something where my bottom lashes can be longer so I can use this one? Um, yeah. And I have this darker lipstick that my auntie gave to me, and it is Spine Horse. And um, I'm just gonna put that. I'm tempted to put it near the little mascaras, but I think I'm gonna keep it separate. I'll put them right here. And my eyeshadow primer fell. So that's gonna go up here. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys to through my palette, or through my um, makeup collection. So here we have a primer by Revlon, it's photo ready. And then behind here I have my powders and then I have my highlighter, which is a Born to Glow liquid illuminator. And then from there I have my True Match, which is a very heavy concealer, um, but once I run out, I'll get the other ones from Denver that I have. I have the Milani eyeshadow primer, it's the only primer I eyeshadow primer use. Some people have like 40 eyeshadow primers and I just don't. Um, have the NARS lipstick. I have the matte poreless which you guys have seen me use. I love the matte poreless. The problem is my skin's a little bit paler now because we're starting to go into winter and it's actually a little bit too dark on my skin. So that's when why I started using the um true match and this is um c1 for alabaster skin and there are many different shades and i have a warmer tone which is for the summer and then i have a cooler tone for the winter but i for the fall my skin is like it's kind of an in between because i'm not tan but i'm not pale yet so i actually mix the two inside of um the cap like i'll let me explain i'll pour a little bit of C1 into this cap and then I'll pour a bit of C2 into the cap and mix it in together um, so that has worked out very well um, the next product I'm gonna show you so they're all like divi they're dividers which I can't find right now oh here's a couple dividers um, these dividers obviously divide the makeup palette the makeup station but um I don't use all of them 
So this you guys have probably seen. I just took it out of my, usually I use this for traveling because it's a good neutral palette. This is my Sonia Kashuk, um, or Kashuk, sorry, Sonia Kashuk um, palette. It is not a high-end brand. Um, I just usually buy it at Target. But for me to use eyeshadow palettes like this, like this is well loved. Like I just cleaned off because I knew I was going to be vlogging. So I cleaned this off and I cleaned this like around the edges. But it's like this is well loved for me. Like I have been traveling with this for a while. I just love traveling with this because it's a simple palette. It's just, um, let me open it up for you guys. There is, so here you have, oops, wow, this vlog is going well. Here you have three matte shades, and here you have three um, sparkle, like non-matte shades, so they're sparkly. Um, and this palette is perfect. I really love this palette. You can go from day a daytime look to a nighttime look, all with six high shadows in one small palette that I just, I love it. Um, I have some creams. Sometimes if I hurt myself, I'll use Icy Hot Pain Relieving Cream. I have Bio Oil if I, for some reason, scratch, get like a scratch or something. Um, and then I have my Aqua, Aqua Tat, um, Tattoo Ointment. And I would use that, I used that when I first got my tattoo. Um, and you put it over the tattoo. And then I have a couple of concealers and perfumes. And what I just did was I reorganized my powder drawer, or my powder, my powder section. Um, so here are two powder brush, brushes. And Eco Tools um, is cruelty free, organic, and... I've been trying, I've been leaning towards, you know, organic, like cruelty free, etc. So I bought a bunch of new Echo Tools. And so what I have is my powders for Echo Tools and then two um, brushes from a while back that are not Echo Tools. Here I have a bunch of Echo Tools eyeshadow brushes. And then this one, I don't know if you guys do this or not, but I have the one makeup brush that I can't get rid of. It's gross and disgusting, but it's great for testing out like makeup that I'm like unsure of and I like rub it on pages, like, you know, the eyeshadow to make sure it works well. And this is the brush I use. It was a very, it does work very well. I don't want to sound like it's a gross brush or anything, but it now is gross because I've used it for so long. And it's the eye contour and it's like number seven. And you guys are out of focus. Yep. Okay. Hello? Hello? There you guys go. So that's number seven. And I'm so sorry. I'm not getting you guys in focus. Number seven. Oh, there we go. And it's like, I mean, as you guys can see, I clean it a lot. But at the same time, there's still like, it's like red, pigmented red. You have like some... I think that's eye primer at the bottom of it. Like, it's been really, really loved, but now it's really gross. And I had, okay, if you guys remember, I'll show it to you guys again. Um, with my pencils, there was this bag. In that bag were these brushes, all these brushes, and they're supposed to be used for traveling, but I've, I haven't been using enough brushes, so... I know it sounds weird because now I have like 800, but I only had like a couple of brushes, like just these ones. So I added in all of these ones. So it doesn't feel like I'm running out of eyeshadow brushes. And I took them out of these containers and like the Echo Tools. I have a couple of these containers and they're just really big containers. Not like I like them, but they're more for storage than like on my makeup drawer. And then you guys know I have the, um, Oh my god, I just blinked on the name. Forever Red Perfume, which my boyfriend's mom gave to me. And I love this perfume so much. Um, she just had a bunch of bottles. And she was like, hey, maybe Kylie would like these. And my boyfriend was like, sure, I'll give them to her on Valentine's Day. And I've, I have multiple bottles. And I also have a smaller bottle here, which is great for like traveling or 
what I'll do is I'll usually spray this one on my wrist and I'll spray this one behind my ear and on my neck because it's a smaller bottle. Um, then you guys know I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then, okay, I have a crazy story about this. It's the Two Chick Dual Repairing Complex, like hair for, it says hair oil serum for damaged over processed hair. But guys, my hands reacted to this and I got a rash like on my hands, like from this serum, but it works miracles on my hair. So maybe this is gross, but what I've been doing is I have my hairbrush. I know it looks gross, sorry. And then what I've been doing is pouring, like, let me show it to you guys. I'll actually do a tutorial right now. I take the Two Chick Hair Serum and I like pump it onto my, um, like pump the serum onto my hairbrush like that. And then I'll rub it into my hair. Like then I'll start brushing my hair like I do every morning and every evening. And then the serum, I can smell it. it then the serum is goes throughout my hair as opposed to just the top or just the bottom. And it evenly distributes the serum throughout my hair. Um, and I know I kind of, it does use a lot every time I pump the, you know, pump it onto my brush. But I love it. It's been working miracles on my hair. And so I'm happy. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my makeup collection for college. Um, and... Yeah, it's just a little box, and I put all my makeup in the box, and then, um, yeah, I just ordered some new makeup products, so I will be doing an unboxing soon, and then I will have more makeup to show you guys. I hope you guys have a great evening, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!